line out of here. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. No more ambushes, please. Doop. Uh, contact beam. Uh, do I want that? I think I do want that for the upcoming boss battle. I'm gonna get rid of the arc welding gun because I'm out of ammo on that thing. Yeah, I think that'll that'll come in handy for the upcoming boss battle. But I guess we'll see. Shaky! I just had to make like a decision there of sorts. Give me that. There we go. Text log. And this will tell you more about this uh about what happened. This is what I think is um This is what I think that bacteria or where I should say that gooish growth is all over the ship is a mutation of this uh, scientist's DNA here. That That's what I think it is. And then that's what helps make those necromorph things. But it can only infect dead uh, skin tissue. Uh, that's why when the people die, uh, that that's when it takes over and turns them into these things right here. Or at least that's what I'm getting out of the story. That's my best guess. The start, I mean, the game isn't very clear in that regard, it just gives you like little hints on and how to figure out the story yourself, basically. So that's why I say I'm not positive on how the story is, you know, every detail of it, but I know pretty much about it. You know, I can open this door here, and I think it's required that I open this door, because I need a suit from here. Uh, grab all the stuff from this room that you can. Uh, hello there, Lexine, where'd you come from? Yeah, another hallucination. Grab the suit, grab the ammo. There we go. We are set to go. Man, I really hope this camera holds out, because I would be so ticked if this thing, like, turns off in the middle of recording. That, that's, like, the worst thing ever, is, is if I would have to go through this long stage all over again. And here we go. Now entering zero gravity. Well, I'm gonna be. Boop, come on. Hello there. Oh, that was not fair at all. Not fair in the least. Gimme. Yay. Um, if you kill those guys faster or then you then they open their stomachs up to let those little critters out, like just by uh, dismantling them, you can stop them from throwing out those face hugger things. Wait, I thought we were going into zero gravity. See if you can find a med kit in the control room. I'll be back soon. I promise. Well, run! Don't walk! Come on, man. Here comes those voices again. I don't know why he looks at that, like, boxer, dumpster-like sort of thing over there. This is just to check things out. Ammunition. Get as much of it as you possibly can. There's a reason why you got a ton of ammunition there. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. All right, here we go. Gimme, give gimme, give yay! And there's some more ammo over there. You can pick your destiny here. You can either go over there or go over there. But I'm gonna take the left path because there's some cover over here. Um. I'll be back, don't worry, and I see some shots being fired my way, so I'm just going to grab one right away. And I'm going to shoot it back when I have the chance. Then he turns the camera over to those guys, there we go. You are going to get exploded, like that. And you, stop that, give me your explosives. Ah, I'm just going to shoot you this way, I guess. Unless you start shooting more stuff my way, then I'll just grab your ammo. And I'll pick this path. There's one up there, and there's one up there, but I'm gonna pick this one. Boop! Whee! As you can see, you could fly out into space, but it's highly unlikely that you will. As a matter of fact, you can't fly out into space, to my knowledge. But, I mean, you know, you know you're outside into space, so you would think that he would be a little bit worried or be concerned that he could like accidentally jump himself out into space and not be able to come back. 
You would, you would think, but no, 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 I don't think so. I guess not. No, 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 no. I don't think so, Johnson. Give me, give me your ammo. Yeah. I swear those uh, things that you can pick up, those explosive balls that enemies shoot at you, are like the best and most powerful thing that you could possibly grab and, and shoot at enemies. Even better than any of your weapons. So definitely take advantage of that if you can. Boop. See, look at that. I just blew off. Well, no, 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 no. All of his limbs at once. I should say all of his tentacles at once. And any day now, please. Come on. It's trying to shoot me through the wall? Oh, come on now. You're just failing, computer AI. Okay, now I can choose a path. I'm gonna go to there. Yeah. Here we go. And there's an ammo right there. No, it won't. All right, here we go. Choose this one and get to the door. Eh. Came awfully close to that uh, ventilation thingy there. If it was a piece of debris like in that other area, that no doubt would have been a hit. <laughs> you remember that other area that I just kept taking hits from flying debris and I didn't know how, how he was taking hits until I realized that it was the debris? Yeah. And this is the gun that keeps shooting out at things randomly. And uh, I gotta solder this thing here, so let's just take a little time to do this. This is probably a lot easier than that other one. Whoop, there we go. And I did that pretty flawlessly, I must add. Well, okay, maybe not. I could have probably did that a lot faster, but I'm just being careful. Back out we go. All the turrets have stopped. He's disabled. I'm on my way back. Please hurry. And get ready. Weller's in really bad shape, and I can't find any pain. Well, I shouldn't say get ready. I'm coming. Whoa. Just, just hold on. I'm going as fast as I can. Starting to lose it now. And do. All right, and click onto this. Here we go. Big boss battles coming up here. Probably the hardest boss battle in the game, in my opinion. Uh, you definitely want your pulse rifle with a lot of ammo. That's why I was trying to save it. And here we go. Here is the battle. You can hear your heart beating, by the way. And get some ammo over there. Line gun ammo. Uh, I think that's a bit too slow, in my opinion, for this boss battle. But I might use it for... Well, I'll show you when I get to it. I gotta remember, up is the line gun, right is the pulse rifle, down is the rivet gun. Gotta remember that, or at least it is for me. That's my configuration. So get ready. Why, hello there. Uh, start with your pulse rifle, if you have one, or any fast gun. And get ready to shoot the yellow parts on its sharp tentacles when it flips them over. I don't know the name of this thing, but it is huge! What the fuck? Here we go. And there we go. If you don't shoot them, they are going to hurt you. Just saying. There we go. And it usually takes about 8 to 10 bullets to stun a tentacle. Oh, that one took about 7. So I guess I gotta be more accurate if I wanna save my ammo. And I definitely wanna save my ammo. Okay, when it brings out this thing, get your pulse rifle out. Uh, not your pulse rifle, excuse me. Your rivet gun out. It's gonna grab you. Now you gotta shoot these glowing yellow bubbles of goo. Uh, if they burst, you'll take some damage. And uh, when you shoot enough of them, he'll spit you out like that. And then what you should do is start shooting that thing with either your line gun or a, eagle, or a fast weapon. Uh, that's its weakness, and you gotta shoot these things too, so get a powerful weapon to slice right through them as well. You stop that and start cutting through these. Ow! Yeah, you gotta get all of them. I'm just gonna get to my pulse rifle here. And is that it? I think that's it. Rivet gun for this guy, just save some ammo. And pulse rifle for this eye thing, whatever the heck it is. When it stops glowing yellow, it uh, is no longer vulnerable, so save your ammo. Um, let's recharge the line gun right away. Get your 
pulse rifle to these things? No, 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 no! I don't think so. You stay away from me, thank you. I will not allow you to rape me, Mr. Tentacle Guy. I have no idea what the name of this thing is, or most of the enemies in this game. I know they're necromorphs, but I'm pretty sure that they all have their own name. I just never took the time to look it up. I took more time to look into the story than I did the enemies' names. And we're back to this. Get you out your rivet gun, because it has unlimited ammo, and you don't have to be fast here. You just have to pay attention to where the uh, bubbles are coming from. And pulse rifle. There we go. Let's just start shooting. Oh, a little slow there, but that's okay. I was going to say, let's start shooting that thing, and just immediately start shooting this. There's only three this time, and not five. Uh, the next phase, there's only going to be one. And now you start shooting this eye. And there we go. One more phase and that'll be it. And it's going to start doing the old tentacle whipping thing again. Here we go. Get ready. Boop. And always recharge after you shoot a tentacle right away. Just uh, get sort of a rhythm going and so you don't forget. The worst thing that you could have is uh, having to recharge while the tentacles are attacking you. That would be kind of bad. <laughs> So don't, like, wait until you can't. Just make sure you've got enough ammo if you need it. And here we go. This should be the last time I have to do this. And just keep shooting. Oh, you can tell what those things are going to pop out. When you see some, like, gooey stuff being shot out of it, like being shot out of that membrane or whatever you're inside, you can, like, you can tell ahead of time that way. Just a uh, gamester tip there. Get ready to shoot this. And that's it. And get ready to shoot the yellow thing. Oh wait, there's some, there's some health. Ow, don't do that. Shoot the yellow, there we go. And it's dead. Well, not quite. But it is the end of the boss battle. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Alright, now let's go to the door. Yeah, this happens automatically, by the way. And this is probably one of the most disturbing things I've seen in the game so far. <laughs> just saying, just watch us. If you're squeamish, look away here. And open this door. Well, I should, I should say watch this if you're not squeamish. Squeamish if, uh, what the heck is going on? It's shooting things and it got my arm. Stabbed my arm into the side of the hull. I can't pull it out. So, what I gotta do is chop off my own arm with a melee attack within 20 seconds. Yeah, just keep doing the melee attack just to get this over with quickly. You don't have much time. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of those Saw movies in a way. And... That is the end of the chapter. How will things go? I guess we'll find out in the next and last chapter. Holy cow, I got a 5 star rating. Awesome sauce. And I took 200, 255 point, uh, percent of damage. Still got a 5 star rating. Well, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.